In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy crypto using Fiat through the MetaMask mobile app. This video is a segment from my MetaMask step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. So if you're still relatively new to MetaMask and you'd like to learn more about it, I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever buying crypto assets or using a crypto hot wallet, including MetaMask. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. Now I'll show you where to go if you'd like to buy some crypto using fiat through MetaMask. To get this done, the first thing you want to do is choose the network that you wish to receive the tokens on. And of course, you just tap on the networks up at the top, then tap on the network that you wish to receive the tokens on. I'll go ahead and just leave this on Arbitrum 1. Next, come down here and tap on these arrows, and then tap at the top here where it says buy. And then we'll go ahead and tap here where it says get started. Next, you'll have to select your region by tapping on this box right here, and then choose your country or region that you reside in. Next, you'll have to select your state or your province, and then tap on continue. Then MetaMask will be showing you the payment methods that are available to you. Now, if you don't see all the same payment methods on your screen, that's likely due to your local government regulations. Different governments around the world simply have different regulations, and that could restrict some of the payment methods that you're able to use. I'll also point out that some of these payment methods have more crypto purchasing options than others. For example, if I was to tap here on Google Pay as my payment method, then come down here and tap on Continue to Amount, You'll notice that if I tap on this box right here to select the crypto I wish to purchase, that there's only a few options in here, at least at the time of recording. Perhaps by the time you're watching this video, there's more options available. But what you could always do is you could buy some USDC and then later swap that into any crypto that you like. And I will be showing you how to do crypto swaps later on in this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and minimize this out and I'll hit the back button. And let's imagine that I want to use debit or credit, so we tap on that then tap on continue to amount. Now, if I tap on this box here to select the crypto that I wish to purchase, you'll notice that there's more crypto purchasing options by using credit or debit. So you just simply tap on the crypto that you wish to purchase. I'll go ahead and tap here on Tether. Next, come down to this box here, give it a tap, and type in the amount that you wish to spend on crypto. So for example, I'll just do something like this. Then tap on done. If you wanna change the fiat that you're spending, you could always tap right here where it says USD. And then you can change the fiat that you're spending in this menu right here. But I'll go ahead and just leave this on USD. Once you have your order set up the way that you want it, you'd come down here and tap where it says get quotes. Then MetaMask is going to fetch you the best quote to purchase crypto at the time of making your purchase. Now, as you can see, MetaMask has come back and it's suggesting that I use Ramp to complete this purchase. Now, these are third party service providers. So this means you'll have to create an account with that service provider and likely complete KYC as well. So keep that in mind. I'll also mention that at the time of recording, although these third-party service providers are perfectly fine, sometimes I find that the fees are not the most competitive. So always keep an eye on the fees as well. You can see in this case right here that I'd be receiving a 191 tether for my $200 spend. If you wish to proceed with one of these third-party service providers, you just tap right here. So in my case where it says continue with ramp network, just like so. Then you'll be redirected to that third-party service provider, so you'll need to create your account, do KYC, and then complete your purchase. Once your purchase is complete, the third-party service provider will be sending your crypto into your MetaMask wallet on the network that you made the purchase with. So I'll just go ahead and tap here on cancel. So in my case, my crypto would be arriving in my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network. And there you have it. That's where to go if you want to buy some crypto using Fiat through the MetaMask mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out some other MetaMask tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.